Hey guys, so I've been using Flash for seven or eight years now, and I've always been so frustrated when I try to exp when trying to export. Hey guys, so I've been using Flash for seven or eight years now, and I've always gotten so frustrated when trying to export my Flash movies into actual movies, MOV files or whatever. Uh, I'm sure if you've used Flash for a little bit, you know what I'm talking about. You've suffered that too, <laughs> trying to export so many ways. I mean, even the Flash to QuickTime exporter, you know, kind of, kind of sort of worked on Flash CS3, but not really. And then really sucked in Flash CS5 and then in Flash CS6, it, you know, kind of worked, but it always dropped frames and kind of left chunky bits out. So over the years, you know, there's always been, you know, sort of workarounds or solutions around the problem. You know, first I tried, you know, using capturing software like this to capture my animations, but, you know, you lose frames. It's not, you know, the same quality. Then, you know, kind of the, the best way or the, you know, the most optimal way it could be to export a JPEG sequence and then go into After Effects and comp it all in you know there's a lot of workarounds i even bought some software that was like 90 bucks or something like that and uh anyway it's not been easy <laughs> and i'm sure it's not been easy for you but i couldn't believe uh, just to make this video not too long uh i couldn't believe when i read the news that newgrounds had released the software that converted swf files into uh QuickTime movies, I, I just couldn't believe it, and it's free, and it's called Swivel, or Swivel, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's here, the link is going to be in the description, please download this thing and go throw money at Newgrounds, and to, uh, wait, to Mike Welsh, please, because, I mean... God, it's, it's so good. Anyways, uh, so it's pretty straightforward. You click add and you add your SWF file in your computer. You click, you know, the start frame, the end frame and convert. And there's, you know, you can, it exports 1080p. It's, it's amazing. And I have uh, an example here I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Here's some audio information and you can even add a watermark if you fancy that. And uh, anyway, just click add, convert. It took, uh, I tried it with this animation because it's uh, it's pretty short, but it's uh, pretty, no, I don't wanna say complex, but it has a lot of things going on. So it's this, but inside each, uh, each movie clip symbol, there's, you know, more animation happening. This girl is doing, you know, there's uh, a lot of things happening. So I did that and this was the result. Whoops, uh, okay, so here's the result. I obviously made the window smaller. It exported to 1080p, and I'm just gonna play this so you can see with your eyes. So, you know, the animation is not perfect, but that's uh, how I did it. That's my actual, that's how my SWF file looks. It's pretty amazing, that's, that's the end of it. It's pretty short, like I said, but it's amazing, I, I just, Sorry if I'm rambling, but I can't believe this thing exists. So please go ahead and uh, download this thing and go throw money at Mike and Newgrounds. So thank you, Newgrounds, and thank you too to uh, Zach from the uh, Psychic Pebbles and Hellbenders channel because I found that out through him. So go subscribe to him, maybe. Thanks. Bye.